What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna talk about espionage and self-sucking. No, we're actually gonna dive into some crazy ass shit here, girl. I have been seeing everyone on YouTube talk about, review, try, and attempt to work out the MAC Cosmetics Roller Wheel Liquid Liner. Now, when I first saw this online, I was like, oh wow. Okay, like, of course, my gut went to cutting pizza because I saw the applicator and I was like, girl, Pizza Hut, stuffed crust with pepperoni, cinnamon sticks with extra icing, and boneless wings. I don't know about anyone else. So I got a little pamphlet here, y'all. We're gonna talk about this crazy liner. Um, Matt Cosmetics did send me this PR and I'm like, okay. I've been kind of, not really, excited by MAC lately. I don't know about anyone else, but this caught my attention because it is something that I've never really seen before. I don't know, MAC's been a little stagnant lately. I think there is just so many releases from other brands and there's so many new companies coming up. MAC, you better step the fuck up. We are going to attempt to try out this liner. I got two shades here today. We have On A Roll Black and Roller Royale. I already have my makeup done. I was reviewing the Sephora Moschino Collection and girl, shit was bomb. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just sit down here and try out these liners. So if you wanna see if they work or not, keep on watching. So this product says it has 0.3 fluid ounces in here. Okay, I don't even know if that's a lot for a liner. I'm about to go look. Okay, oh wow. Okay, so when you pull it out of the box, it looks like this. The applicator is very long, but then it has the grooves in it for your fingers, I'm gonna assume. So you have a nice, tight grip. All right, so let's open her up. Oh, wow. Okay, so it kind of just popped off like a lid, and oh my god. Okay, first of all, in person, this is so tiny. Let me hold up my hand so you guys can really see how tiny the wheel is. Holy shit. Okay, I've watched one other person's review and it did not look this tiny like on camera. I don't know how it looks to you guys and then look at it. it is thin. Let me just do a little turn so you guys can see it. That is razor thin. Wow. Here's what the inside of the component looks like, where the product is. And I guess if you wanna get more product on the wheel, we'll call it, you have to dunk it in again. So let's just see what the hell this is supposed to do, okay? So the fact sheet says, Mac reinvents the wheel with our roller wheel liquid liner. A groundbreaking spinning disc applicator absorbs the perfect amount of product to provide a continuous, smooth, even stroke of color. Skinny lined and defined, a wing effect or a bold geometric look. Let the rolling applicator do all the work for the perfect liquid line every time. Be a high roller on hot wheels with roller. Okay, girl, I get it. These are going to retail for $21 a piece. Of course, I have two colors here, but there are two more shades coming. That is a, oh, okay, there's a shiny black and a matte black. Which one do we have? We have the matte black, thank God. And then there is the warm brown, and then of course we have the blue here. It's out yet? No, you guys, this is gonna be online August 17th, and in stores September 14th, so literally almost a month later, they'll be in stores. That's kind of weird. Let's get into this damn review and see if these work. Obviously, I don't have any false lashes on. I just have on the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Yeah, we're just gonna go in here and see if this works. I'll just do like a line first and then maybe we'll have some fun. So I guess let's take this wheel for a spin. All right, so we are going to take this and... Let me tilt my head, you guys. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Okay, that is what we have so far. I mean, that was quick. Okay, I don't know <laughs> about anyone else, but when I'm doing a liner, I hold my breath. So I'm like, <gasps> so excuse me if I'm not talking while I am wheeling. Okay, I think I need a little bit more product because it is getting a tiny bit streaky, but when I did it that first time right away, it definitely didn't skip. So let me dunk in again and let's see what happens. Okay, I mean, that was not that bad. All right, I'm dunking in for a third time. Now let's try to flick this out. She's looking a little fucked up. 
I just fucked this shit up. Okay, definitely for trying it out the first time, it is a little difficult because when you turn the thing a little bit, it could get product like that, where I thought that was the straight line, but I turned it too much and it got like wonky. So let me try to roll some more. Now, I will say this, it doesn't feel bad. It doesn't hurt or feel like weird or anything. The wheel is smooth. The applicator feels nice. We're definitely uh, taking it there with the wing. When she says she's just doing a subtle wedding look, this is what happens. <laughs> definitely something that you have to get a hang, like get the hang of. It's not like, okay, bam, this is easy. I mean, it's a little tricky. Now I did kind of straighten it out. It is very dramatic, but I kind of live for it. And just for fun, I want to take the wheel and just see what happens if I go into my crease right here. Oh wow, see, yeah, it's a little messy, you guys. If you don't, if you're not careful, it doesn't like go completely straight. You do have to kind of manipulate it, I think. I feel like I'd rather just take a liner brush and just do it quickly because girl, I just fucked up this makeup. Now that I fucked up um, this side, look at that shit, you guys. What is going on? This is shade Roller Royale, and oh my god, it's fucking bright ass blue. So I figured, you know what? Let's see if this works. You all see what I mean? It skips, and the pigment is really not there. I'm just mapping out where my cheek implants are gonna go. Don't mind me. As you see, you guys, the wheel, it can be fun. When you have like 10 hits off the bong and you're just trying to live, the wheel works. When you're trying to really slay a liner, I don't fucking know. But I will tell you this, okay, the product feels thick. Like when this is dry right here in my eye, my eye feels heavy. This on my mouth feels thick, like bizarre actually. I'm like, oh. All right, like Laura Lee would say, I think this product might be a little gimmicky. Only thing I did not like about it, well there's a few things. I wish that the pigment was like embedded into the wheel so it had continuous non-stop coverage from it so you didn't have to continuously keep dunking. Cause as you saw, I mean all jokes aside, obviously I just painted all over my face, but as you go down, it was just really hard to keep a straight line. I think there has to be a lot of practice. Sometimes when you try something new, you're not really gonna love it. Um, I'll definitely have to try this out a few more times, but the way the applicator just kind of didn't stay consistent, and what I mean by that, when you're, it's that close to your eye and you're trying to look at yourself, right? I'm just gonna do it on my hand. It was hard to see like, okay, there was one, right? But it was hard to turn it or even try to make a line opaque. It's just kind of a little hard to, to, to get a hold of. So not my favorite thing in the world. Um, definitely love that MAC made something innovative and new. I think that the makeup industry can be a little stale sometimes. I mean, what else can people make when there is so much else out there. So props to them for coming up with something new. If you want to try it or give it a whirl, obviously try it yourself. But this was my experience. Now, let me call my doctor. I have some fucking shit to fix. <laughs> <laughs> How do I look? Uh, you look pretty crazy. Looks like a surgeon just drew on your face. They did. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get all this done and hopefully we'll be healed by uh, the weekend. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you for watching another review. I'm about to go, what are we about to do? I need to go, I don't even know. We need to go relax. It's been a long day. It sure has. All right, you guys, thank you for watching some makeup debauchery. We'll see you on the next one. See you guys.